Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about Mesopotamia. First of all, the question is, what is Mesopotamia? The word Mesopotamia means between two rivers. Two rivers are Euphrates and Tigris. It is present in modern Iraq. It is also called the cradle of civilization. Where the two rivers are Euphrates and Tigris. These rivers are located here in a map. Dear students, here is the map of Mesopotamia. Okay. Mesopotamia is also called Sumeria. This is the river Tigris and this is the river Euphrates. The whole of the land between this is so much fertile, having rich soil and this region is called Mesopotamia. Now students, you have to understand that why we call this civilization means the Mesopotamian civilization the cradle of civilization. It is called because various nomadic tribes attacked Mesopotamia. The result was different civilization rose and fell in ancient Mesopotamia. Hence it is called cradle of civilizations due to many of the civilizations present in Mesopotamia. Basically the Mesopotamian civilization consists of three chief civilizations that were Babylonian civilization, Sumerian civilization and Assyrian civilization. The lower part of Mesopotamian valley was called Sumeria and the people living there were called Sumerians. To the northeast of Sum Sumer were called the Babylonian and the highland in the north is called Assyria. Now, after discussing the introduction, we will discuss the main features of Mesopotamian civilization that are invention of writing, number one, and the number two is code of Hammurabi. Number three is invention of calendar and number four is the special thing is about them is their religion. So starting from the invention of writing it is one of the most ancient civilization where writing was invented. There were four civilizations where writing was invented and it was one of them. The Mesopotamian language was also known as Sumerian and the script was called cuneiform. When the cuneiform script was deciphered means decoded, people were able to learn more about this civilization and its progress over the countries. This language was understandable and used later 300 years. Okay, now this civilization was advanced for its time in literature, language, mathematics, astronomy and science. It means that they were very literate people. They know how to write. They know how to uh, how to write the books. There uh, was also the concept of mathematics at b many many years before this time. Today the subjects are so much advanced, but at that time there was very little concept of literacy. But the Mesopotamian people were very, very literate people. 
Now the next feature is code of Hammurabi. Basically, code of Hammurabi. It is a tablet showing cuneiform writing. The is it consists of different type of symbols and uh, different signs embedded in the clay. As we have discussed before that as we have discussed before that Mesopotamia was divided into city states. It means that each city can set its own laws. So one of the uh, one of the ruler of the state of one of the state of the ruler of the Babylon was Hammurabi. He made the laws which were called the Code of Hammurabi's. Okay, the most famous of these Code of Hammurabi, a Babylonian ruler who ruled around seventeen hundred. BCE he made laws for his kingdom and had them inscribed in cuneiform script on a huge stone tablet these laws were very strict but unfortunately they did not apply fairly to everyone the rich and powerful people got a lighter punishment than the poor ones it means that these laws were not strict because the rich people were having the less punishment and the poor people have to face many more difficulties here this picture shows the hammurabi and in this on this stone his rules code of laws are inscribed on it mesopotamia was ruled by different kings from its cities unlike the pharaohs of egypt whose generations ruled through the centuries. It means that Mesopotamia has a different kings. As I have mentioned before, that the ruler of Babylon was Hammurabi. The ruler of Assyria is Ashurbanipal. And after Hammurabi, the ruler of Babylon was Nabokidnazaru. Okay, it's the word Nabokidnazaru. It is Ashurbanipal, Hammurabi, and Sargon. Mesopotamians were the first people who invented how to measure time. They gave the concept of 24 hours in a day, 60 seconds in a minute, and 60 minutes in an hour. They also discovered that they the angle of a circle is 360 degree now coming to the reading to keep a track of time the Sumerians invented calendars which they divided into 12 months based on the cycle of the moon since a year consisting of 12 lunar months is shorter by 11 days than a solar year the Sumerians added a leap month which is now February every three years in order to catch up with the sun the interest in measuring long periods of time led them to develop knowledge of astronomy what is astronomy the study of space related things is called astronomy the study of stars sun moon is called astronomy okay students now we will discuss about the religion of mesopotamian people the mesopotamian people believe in many gods in Mesopotamian civilization, every state has its own special god. A temple was dedicated to the god. The Sumerians believed in and worshipped many gods who they believed were very powerful but they were like humans. Many of these gods controlled natural forces and when the god is and when the gods are displeased with humans, they sent natural disasters like floods, storms, and earthquakes to punish them. Like many civilizations and kingdoms, the civilization, this civilization also come to an end when other new powerful empires like Persia took over in the second century. Okay, students, now you have understood about 
the Mesopotamia, their main features and please do read them again and if you feel any difficulty you can contact me. Thank you, thank you so much.